just like every other senior who's at this event, you want to play in the NFL. Have uh, you given much thought or, or do you have much concern about you know, the admission of this and where you go from here in relation to that? You know, it, it was a consideration before um, we, we decided to move forward with it. Um, and I, I kind of decided, you know, this, this is really the time to do it because it's my last year at Iowa. And um, it offers a unique perspective because a lot of people, when they, they write something or they talk about um, depression, you know, their athletes, um, it's, it's usually after the fact. They're, they're done playing, they retire, and that's not really the case for me. I'm, I'm still, you know, in the thick of it. And it offers a, you know, a, uh, I don't know what you call it, a present perspective, I guess, um, which, which I think is important. And, you know, quite frankly, I, I wouldn't want to play for an organization that had trouble with uh, me having depression. Yeah, the one word I, I keep going back to is how courageous that is. I mean, not only to say it to everybody else, but first of all, you got to admit to yourself that like, hey, I'm going through something, you know, and, and and then to admit it to yourself and have bring it to us, you know, as team, as family, and you know, to let him know that we we support him whatever happens. You know, we're behind him, and, and I know Coach France has has talked to him a lot, and, and let him know that we care about him as a person, you know, not just the football player, You're not just put on a conveyor belt and thrown through. You know, we care about you as a person. And for him to go out there and use his platform to try and help those that might also be struggling, I think it's courageous and it's absolutely amazing. With, uh, what was your reaction to, to your teammate Sean coming out last week and talking about his illness? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was awesome that he used you know his, his platform right now to get to get the word out. Um, you know, he talks about it might not be you know. Um, it might not be out there enough, or people might not think of it enough. And to you know, use his platform that he has right now to be able to get the word out about that. I mean, it just shows how courageous person he is, and you know what a great person he is. It's not for himself; it's you know for others. He's he's trying to help others and not himself, and you know better than to watch him uh, hit a few home runs. Yeah, he's. I mean, as strong as he was with the bat, he was strong like that hidden running back. So, I mean, he was our middle linebacker for us uh, the year we went to the state championship my senior year. Um, unfortunately, we didn't win that game. Um, but, yeah, he was able to come out. I think that was the only year he played football. It was the year we went to the state championship. That tells you anything about him. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's a good guy. And, and I saw his first amateur at bat. He sent it over the ball. So, <laughs> I don't think he's doing just fine. Yeah. Just the position coach is really what they transform us into. Um, there's a lot better players. Do you feel at all that because you guys don't get those four and fives that you get overlooked? I mean, you were kind of picked to finish fourth in the in the division. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess that could be something to look at. Uh, they don't. Have, you could say they don't have as good player as good as players. Um, uh, but you know, but by the culture that the coaches have uh, set in place, and they've had it set in place for a while now in Iowa. Um, and you know that tough hearts. Uh, Tough, smart, and physical. It just, uh, you know, I think it gives us that small advantage. Um, and you may catch people off off guard sometimes, maybe because we're not supposed to be as good as them, or you know, they're ranked first and we're ranked sixth in the, you know, in the Big Ten. So sometimes that can happen.